Hello everyone and welcome to the second session of this graph data structure. So in our previous session we have built the graph with the help of the edges where edges were given in the hard coded form. So in this session we are going to build the same graph but here we are going to take this edges value from the user. So basically the thing is you can see here edges how means how many connections are there you can see here one two three four and five there are five connections so our graph was this one so let me explain you again this was our graph here i was connected to j i was connected to k as well and k was connected to l and k was connected to m and O was connected to N. So how many connections were there? One, two, three, four, and five. So we were given five edges. So these were the edges. So what we are going to do here is, we are going to take this connection between two nodes, which is the edges from the user. So what will be our very first requirement? It will be like how many edges will be there so you can see here for the above problem there were five edges so we will take the n value as a five to execute the loop to take the input from the user five times so let us copy this same function and let me explain you in another cell so we have this build graph this function i have explained you yesterday so our very first task is to take how many edges user want to give. So in these scenarios, for example, let us take n equal to five. We are going to deal with the same problem here. Okay. So n equal to five. So we will execute our loop five times. So for i in range five. Okay. And five times we are going to take input from the user. And at a time user will give input like this one and here user will give input five times and in the form of every time she will give like i comma j which means there is a connection between the nodes i and j next time suppose k comma i next time suppose m comma k k comma l and suppose n comma o so five inputs will be given so we have to store this all five inputs in a list so what we have to do here is we have to save each connection in a list like this one like here when the values were hard coded you can see here in a single list each input means each connection is taken as a list you can see here this is the one input which is taken in a list so we will follow the same structure so let us take one edges empty list now user will give input so let us take input function so input will be having two value at a time separated by a space so let us first split that one we are going to split the input so that we will get two separate value i and j for example user is giving i comma j so we will save i and j in a list so what we have to do we have to simply split this one now what we have to do here is since when we are taking the input and using a split function over here so this whole thing will return a list so for example if we are giving i and j so when it is splitted when we are using dot split over here split function so it will be splitted in a separate separate part within a list because split function returns a list so what we are going to do here is we are going to append this whole value in a list with the name edges so what we are going to do here is we are going to append this whole part whole part in a edges edges dot append all set so we are going to perform five times so five times user will give the connection between two nodes means edge and every times we are splitting and appending in the edges list 
so we are done so let us print this one and see let me print print edges and see whether it is working or not so suppose i am giving the value i and j next one is suppose k and i k and i m and k m and k after that k and l suppose n and o we are going to give the same input the same this one so you can see here so you can see here this is the list which is this one edges line number 14 this is the edges list so we got this one the sample input now we can send this now we can send this in build graph so let us call build graph and pass this list which is the input list with name edges now if you run this one let us give the input i comma j k and i m and k k and l and n and o so you can see here the output so you can see this output it is similar to the above output this one so here the edges is o comma n but here we are passing n o that's why this last value is different let me execute one more time and give the same simple input like i and j k and i m and k k and l and last one is last one is o n o n n so you can see here so this was our input list which is basically the edges and this is the graph which we created with the help of dictionary which i have already explained you in the previous class so that's all means how to take the inputs from the user and create the edges and pass to the build graph the main reason behind explaining this logic was means how to take the sample input from the user and build the graph was if you see the graph problem and see their sample input then you'll get to know they'll simply pass the edges and from that edges we have to build our own graph and after that we have to apply the logic so to have the better understanding how to deal with the sample input we must know how to take the input from the user and build the graph so i hope you understood this simple concept so in the next tutorial we are going to learn about the traversal in the graph with the help of bfs and dfs with both the approach iterative and recursive way so if you have learned something new please do like our videos and subscribe to our channel coding card and stay tuned for the next video thanks for watching Oh, 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 oh,